Yeah. We're here to talk about what's new in the Omnia 9. The Omnia 9 has been on the market for a while, and it's it keeps getting updates, but now you've made some big improvements. What's going on? Um, yeah, this is this is actually the biggest update uh, biggest update to date, with a, certainly the biggest amount of code changed, okay. uh, which is quite maddening because you can't really tell from the surface. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Most of it's under the hood, and the stability improvements, um, logging, that sort of thing. But here are the things you can tell, um, yeah. even, even on the air. New Clipper, this time by Hans von Zutphen. Wait a minute, you put Hans's Clipper in the Omnia 9? Yeah, he, yeah, he, I, I, let, I let him win this one. <laughs> okay, so his clipper has some advantage over what was in there? Uh, it does, actually. Uh, apart from the fact that the, uh, that it cuts latency down by about 400 milliseconds, it's also a little bit cleaner. Wait a minute, it, it, it's percent. almost a half second faster? Yeah, so now the delay, the total on-air delay is something like 600 milliseconds instead of over one second, okay. which is still way, way too slow for headphones, yeah. but, but, you know, less is more, right? Yeah. Um, but most importantly, it, it sounds better, uh, especially when pushed. It does. It's even cleaner. It's the same type of sound that I was going for, but he got even a little. He got even closer than I did. And, and, and Leif, if I understand, Hans's clipper is kind of like this TARDIS effect, right? From Doctor Who, you get more. You get more into it than then it's big enough to hold. In other words, more audio with less processing. Uh, exactly, and the 9 always did this with its uh, reasonably famous 100, 140% audio in 100% modulation yes. uh, thing. Yes. But it's even closer now. It pushes the envelope even a little bit further. All right, now aside from the Clipper, what else is in uh, new for Omnia 9? Um, well, the uh, it has a brand new streaming engine, uh, which now supports FLAC lossless encoding, including uh, including a reduced bitrate mode, where it, uh, where it modulates the bit depth to track along with the existing noise floor of the audio so you can get virtually lossless down to about 700 kilobits. So it's okay. excellent for if you need to re-encode elsewhere, ah. that way you avoid generation loss. Uh, so the, the new streaming engine which supports the flag encoder also uh, also now supports Shoutcast 2 servers, uh, which was never okay. the case before. Micro MPX, uh, I just saw this get demoed. This is this great technology for sending uh, composite, multiplex, the whole multiplex signal over IP at 320 kilobits per second. It's in the Omnia SST, and now... And now it's also in the Omnia 9, and it's right in the I.O. options here, Micro MPX. Um, yeah, you can select the bitrate, keyframe interval, uh, three separate destinations, and uh, of course so micro MPX will make well will make perfect sense once there is hardware uh, to decode it on the other end. Of course, you can use a PC now can, yes. to, to decode the other end. That is at the transmitter side to make come back out with uh, analog or digital MPX. But uh, there will be hardware available uh, coming soon from the Telus Alliance, uh, a, a small appliance to go at the transmitter side. Leif, there's another addition, and that is you've added Livewire, right? Exactly. Finally, the Omnia 9 uh, now support now fully supports Livewire and AS67. Oh, AS67 um, too. Yeah, at least uh, uh, well, at least the multicast part of it. Yeah. So you, unicast will come eventually. So that means um, that means you have eight additional inputs and outputs plus actually composite over live wire in and out, uh, which will also be useful once we have hardware to support that. Check out the Omnia 9 at telosalliance.com and uh, hey, get the best from Leif and the best from Hans in the same box. Amazing. I'm Kirk Harnack at IBC 2017.